We're going to cross then live to New Delhi now. Talk to our correspondent Sarah Jacob, who joins us from there. Sarah, lots of indications, aren't there, that Modi has won, notably uh, new exit polls coming out. Well, if the exit polls are to be believed, then Prime Minister Modi is on the cusp of making history by being elected for the third consecutive time. An honour so far uh, held only by one other Indian Prime Minister, Jawaharlal Nehru. Today's papers are reporting that a confident BJP has already placed mass orders with florists and sweet shops, anticipating that they will be hosting celebratory parties at their headquarters. The Prime Minister, in his first comments after the voting closed, made on the social network working site X, formerly known as Twitter, claimed victory without uh, referring to the exit polls. Now, the exit polls have had a patchy record in India. They have been famously known to get it wrong in the past. Analysts point out that given the size and scale of this country, it is challenging, to say the least, to get, uh, to get it right. And the opposition is hoping that this is going to be one of those cases. The opposition is saying, hold your horses, you're jumping the gun. They're predicting that uh, uh, the BJP will be left smarting. Now, which side is bluffing? That will be known in the next 24 hours. But yes, as we go into counting day, the momentum right now is well and truly with the ruling BJP. And Sarah, this comes as well, doesn't it, uh, as a top opponent of Modi is said to be watching these results from behind bars. Well, as the counting begins in a few hours from now, in an unprecedented situation, the Chief Minister of Delhi, the national capital of India, Arvind K. Jivali, a MagSafe Award winner, a vocal critic of the BJP, will be receiving these results as they come in from behind bars. Arvind K. Jivali was arrested uh, in March uh, in connection with an investigation into an alleged corruption case. Now, his party says that this uh, arrest was at the behest or choreographed by the ruling BJP in order to intimidate them uh, and in order to weaken them in this critical election year. Arvind Kejribal is a a vocal critic uh, and a, le a strong leader of uh, the opposition ruling alliance here in, in, in India. Now, uh, the analysts point out that the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal was a catalyst moment in this election. They say it brought together a divided opposition like never before. Well, that unity, that opposition unity, which has been under the scanner, which has been the focus of the press, is going to be tested tomorrow as the results come in. Sarah, a lot more from you, I'm sure, then, as those results do come in uh, here on France 24. Thanks very much for now, though. Uh, we'll be covering it, of course, tomorrow.